Uh, welcome to this video. This is uh, a question Les Anani has asked me to do. She wants me to do right at the bottom, the question right at the bottom. But unfortunately, we have to really look at the top bits before we do anything else. Okay, this is how the question starts. Um, by the way, let me give you the year in case you want to do this on your own. Uh, when I find it, it is... Where's my pen? <clears throat> it is... Where is it? Oh, I've just lost it. Hold on. It is summer, summer 1541, yeah. Summer 1541, and it's question four. All right, sulfur sulfate, sparing soluble in water. The concentration of its, <coughs> excuse me, of its standard solution is that. All right, expression for the solubility product, that's easy enough. So it's uh, Ag plus aqueous squared times SO4 to minus aqueous. Okay, and the units are concentration cubed, aren't they? So what does that mean? That means moles cubed decimeters to the minus nine. Calculate value of um, KSP at 298K. All right, put these numbers in. <clears throat> um, what we often do with this is what I do anyway. I write down the dissociation or I write down the, um, the equation for the dissociation. Okay, because otherwise you'll get confused here. So we have 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 of that. This is going to be 2 times 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. And this is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. Put them all in the equation up here. So the silver is 2 times 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 all squared times the sulfate, which is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, now, there's my calculator. Here we go. As I've said, well, I'm just waiting for my calculator to go on now, which is taking forever. Do I have another one? No. Um, often, I think it's best you actually view these um, videos at times 2, because I think you all know what you're doing. And if you turn, turn it on to times 2, um, you don't really have to listen to my voice. Just see what I'm writing down. Right, the calculator's not working. So I'm going to have to use the one on the computer, which is useless. 2 times 2.5. This one's obvious, isn't it? Times 10 to the minus 2 is equal to 0 0.05 times itself. Is that times that by 2.5 exponential minus 2. And I get one, two, three, four, five. So I get 6.25 times 10 to the minus 5. So 6.25 times 10 to the minus 5 moles cubed decimeters to the minus 9. Right. <clears throat> never be foolish about these things. Always check the answer scheme. Yep. And it's right. Honestly, never. No, no, you can become so unstuck if you do that. Right, I'm messing around with the size there. I shouldn't be really. Right, let's do the second part. The second part is quite easy as far as I remember. Okay, we've got a complete a diagram. Here we are. All right, now, unfortunately, we have to go through the whole question to really get the last bit, I'm afraid. Using that as an example, complete the following Hess's law, relating that, that, and that on your diagram. Well, we should know that uh, if I go to gaseous ions here and a sulfate ion there, oh, that should be gas, sorry. All right, big mistake, because I think they're quite strict on state symbols. Let's have a look, um, empty boxes. All right, I can't see state symbols, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. All right, so that to that is the lattice energy, isn't it? So this is delta H. Lat. Okay. Now this is going to be 2Ag plus aqueous plus sulfate to minus aqueous. And this is going to be the hydration energy. Hydration energy. Now this is going to be confusing, isn't it? Because it's two times the hydration energy of a silver ion plus the hydration energy of a sulfate ion. Okay, and therefore this is going to be 
delta H solution. So we've used that, we've used that, and we've used that. Do they want it this specific? Let me check the answers. Probably not, actually. No, it doesn't want it. Uh, did I get it right? Yeah, I got it right. Now, um, all they wanted for this bit was delta H hydration. Okay, I've been too specific there. All right, we're good with that. Let's move on to the next bit. All right, <clears throat> this is uh, something about cells, I think. All right, there we are. Nice cell. Okay, there's platinum. Platinum cell is shut up. Um, a electrochemical cell is set up. Platinum, Fe2, Fe3+. Plus. On the right, silver. I uh, use the data booklet to calculate the value of E cell under standard conditions. Um, let's have a look. I've done this before somewhere or other. All right. So the platinum, sorry, it's not platinum, is it? The Fe2 plus, Fe3 plus one is 0 0.77. Okay. The silver one, the Ag plus, Ag is plus 0 0.8. Okay, so how do we get the E cell? E cell is equal to, this is the standard. Okay, so this is under standard conditions. It is the most null positive minus the more negative. So that gives me 0 0.03 volts. Okay, now this is the more positive one, the silver side. And the platinum on the Fe2 plus Fe3 plus is the more negative so electrons go this way okay from the more negative to the more positive so the positive one is the silver silver electrode is the uh the positive one in this case how would the actual e cell compare to the e cell under standard conditions okay <clears throat> so this is standard but as you know silver has a very small solubility product silver sulfate so <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, the concentration of silver ions is well below one molar. Okay, so what happens there? Well, we can do this in two ways. This is the way I would do it. Ag plus, plus an electron, goes to Ag. All right, now if we decrease the concentration of the silver ions, more silver atoms turn to silver ions because of Le Chatelier. All right, Le Chatelier equilibrium shifts to the left. Okay, and in doing so, it tries to compensate, doesn't it? We're decreasing the number of Ag pluses, all right, because it's much lower than one here. And therefore, more silver atoms become silver ions, and they lose electrons doing so. So it goes to the left, and therefore becomes more negative. So the E electrode of the silver becomes more negative okay but it doesn't want what happens to e electrode of the silver it want what happens to the e cell value so let's see how did we calculate e cell originally well we got the silver and we said originally it was 0 0.8 minus 0 0.77 Okay, imagine this goes down now, becomes more negative. Don't change it much because <clears throat> it gets confusing then. But let's change it to 0 0.78 minus 0 0.77. It's going to be 0 0.01 then, isn't it? So E cell, the E cell value is more negative. Okay, negative. Because, why is it? Well, I'm looking at the answer scheme. It's not very convincing because the Ag plus is less than one mole per decimeter cube. But we knew that, didn't we? We did it a much more clever way <clears throat> because of Le Chatelier um, and more silver atoms change the silver ions, making the electrode more negative. Okay, you could have also done it a cleverer way if you want. And we could have used the Nernst equation, which is the new E electrode is equal to the standard, sorry, that should say electrode, 
okay plus log now i can't remember what's here there's bits and pieces but i remember it's log something or something isn't it over here okay now when this is one one mole per decimeter cubed okay this term cancels out and e electrode becomes the same as the standard which you'd expect it to do but if this is less than one this well my plus log turns into minus something i don't know what it is okay so e electrode the standard the new e electrode under non-standard conditions equals that so if this term here you know with the plus plus log or whatever is negative okay the new electrode potential is less less than the standard value i hope that makes sense and when we say less we should qualify that we should say more negative i hope this is making sense this is quite technical i didn't think it was going to be but it's quite technical in the end all right if you've got a sh if you've got anything wrong with it uh, please give me a shout let's move this up and let's get to the next one Let's not, I hope this is what you wanted. I really do. All right, here we go. Now, all right, how would the uh, E cell of the above cell change if a few cc's of concentrated sodium sulfate were added to the beaker containing the Fe2, Fe3 plus? Now, let's have a look at that. Fe2, whoops, messed that up. Fe2, Fe3 plus. All right. Okay, and if I added it to that one, I would get no change for this one. Why is there no change? Well, because if I add sulfate ions or sodium ions, okay, why would it change? Why would it, oops, is that strong, isn't it? Plus an electron gives this. It wouldn't change this equilibria, would it? Okay, there's nothing nothing to affect this. I'm not changing this. I'm not changing this. So there would be no change. Okay, to this system. All right. But if I add it to this one, now, if you remember, AG2SO4, sorry, that's wrong. Oh, no, that's right. We can use this. It gives me 2 AG plus, plus a sulfate ion. If I add concentrated sodium sulfate now the concentration of this goes up okay now don't forget kp k um, equilibrium oh, what's it called ksp solubility product this must remain constant okay so if you remember what the solubility product is i think it was this ag plus squared sulfate there you go and if this term goes up this must remain constant and therefore this term must go down so adding sodium sulfate here effectively will reduce the ag plus concentration now if we reduce the ag concentration well it's the same as it was before um, the e cell was originally this is the standard one 0 0.8 minus 0 0.77 volts again we're reducing this so let's reduce this a tiny bit okay obviously i'm guessing at the numbers here aren't i but we get 0 0.02 in this case so the cell potential so how would the e cell change no change at all because you're not affecting this equilibria but how would the cell change if we to the um to the beaker if we added um sodium sulfate to the beaker containing um silver sulfate because this would go down if this goes down our equilibrium this equilibrium must shift to the left if it shifts to the left the electro potential of the silver goes down becomes more negative and if the electro potential of the silver goes down this number decreases and therefore the cell gets more negative as well started off at 0 0.03 and maybe it goes down to 0 0.02 okay i hope that makes sense again um please give me a shout if uh if you don't understand this now explain the changes i've just tried to do that that's what i've tried to do down here so i'm gonna say i've done that now the tricky bit okay where are we here it is 
Now, Liz and Lani said she got this wrong, and she didn't know why. And I know exactly what she did wrong, because when I first did this, I did it as well. Solutions of iron, two sulf iron three sulfate are acidic due to this equilibria. Ka equals that. <clears throat> Calculate the pH of this. Okay, so this looks straightforward, doesn't it? So let's put the Ka in. This is what I always like to do. Ka. I'm going to call this this Fe two plus. All right, this is the Fe two plus. Okay, I'm being a bit lazy, aren't I? Times the hydrogen ion concentration divided by, and I'm going to call this one the Fe three plus. Okay, now let's uh, put all the numbers in. Eight point nine. Equals, um, where are we? There it is, calculate. Now you're gonna think this is x squared because you're gonna think this, this is the same as this. So that's x squared divided by the concentration of Fe3 plus this one. And it says it's 0.1. So from this, we get x squared is equal to 0.1 times 8.9. Therefore, x is the root of that. Is my calculator working yet? Oh, it kind of is. It's very faint. 0.1. Oh gosh, uh, this isn't 8.9, is it? It's times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, so times 10 to the minus 4. 0.1. Is, my calculator is dying now. 0.1 times 8.9 exponential minus 4 is equal to that. Very small number. I can barely see. The square. Oh, square root is equal to. I think. Nine four three. Uh, so this is h plus, and then I've got to get the log of that, and the log of that is minus. So it's minus 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 two three. Okay. Now I know this is wrong. By the way, I'll tell you why it's wrong. And listen, I know this is wrong as well. I guess. Let me see if that's what she got. Out of interest. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's good. I'm glad we're on the same page. But we're wrong. Okay. Now, we're wrong for a really annoying reason. Okay. I think we'd both get one, though. Okay. We're wrong with this. Okay. Because of this. So, if I've got Fe2 SO4 three times, it's going to give me two Fe three pluses and three so four two minuses. So if I start off with 0 0.1 mole of this, I end up with 0 0.2 of this. So going back to this, this number should be 0.2. Okay, so yes, you did exactly the same as me. So let me check that. 0 0.2 times 8.9 exponential minus 4 equals that. Root that equals that. Get the log of that equals that. Minus 1.87, so this becomes 1.87. This is wrong, don't forget, because of this. This We should have used this number. Okay, and let me check the answer. If it's wrong, you'll never see this video. All right. Um, yeah, there you go. 1.87. Uh, All right. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. That's a good little question, though. Lots of little bits and pieces. Um, as I say, though, I do go on a bit. So watch these in double time, eh? Because I think most of the time all you need is what I write. Okay, thank you. Good night.